search is on for those still missing after the tornado outbreak in Tennessee that killed at least 24 people. This morning, the death toll in Tennessee is climbing. Violent power flashes lighting up the night sky. At least one tornado, a massive EF3, packing winds up to 165 miles per hour. Debris fly through the glass windows. One of the garage doors get ripped off. Never thought that this would happen. It's like a war zone. I just seen people scattered everywhere. Blaring tornado sirens, drowning out now live music. Now there are music new Los Angeles. So this is day two of cleaning up and rebuilding. And uh, it's actually looking a lot better than what it did yesterday, which was pretty devastating to see the houses and the condition that they were in. Uh, but it's really cool to see everyone kind of come together and help out in any way possible, bringing food and helping throw away debris and organizing and trying to save all the memories that they can that are still left in their house. So it's cool to see the national community kind of come together and help each other out. So I'm going to walk around, see if I can talk to some people, and um, then start cleaning again because that's why I'm here. So let's see what we have going on. We, we started with the uh, volunteer group at 10th and Fatherland that was organized, and we ran out of stuff to do in the Five Points area. So I had been through Rosebank yesterday and noticed it was pretty bad, so we're out here today uh, bringing volunteers out and making sure that everybody has food and water. Damage is actually kind of setting in um, how hard this tornado hit. So um, I'm walking through the neighborhood and, and gathering footage of just outside of the area that I've been cleaning up houses in. Yeah, so we're just out here in East Nashville um, two days after the tornado. Um, really just trying to lend an effort and hand wherever we can, uh, picking up trash, picking up debris, um, cleaning up people's backyards, bottles of water, things like that. So anything we can do to help um, and just took the day off and came out here to be a part of the community. see here the whole neighborhood's pretty much damaged looks like every house has been touched but the great thing about it is it's bringing everyone together you've got people I've never met before never seen again before everyone's working together bringing down sheds bring down knock down trees emptying out houses before they collapse and really just see what the whole community is about when everyone comes together like this What'd you say? Said, oh no, now the camera's on you. Yeah. Oh, now the camera's on. I said, yeah. we, we were walking down the street and we came around the corner and was like, oh my God. No so we did all started. of this. <laughs> all of this was it, wasn't happening. It was all trash. And this is what it looks yeah. like now. We did all of, all of that. People coming together yeah. and knocking stuff down. So it started with the three people saying, hey, uh, you want some help with the cutting stuff down, pulling things out? And they were like, 
Sure, we've not even looked at the backyard yet. And uh, we saw one guy, and he was like, hey, y'all need help? And I said, yes. And he said, okay, I'll call some people. And 10 people showed up, and then more And then 100 more, more people, people showed up, because they called people. And this is, this is. That's, uh, how, that's how this community works. It's just mind blowing. We've dropped, I don't know, we felled probably 60 trees, maybe more than that. A lot of trees, a lot of sheds. Like there were a lot of roofs. This house doesn't have a roof. Guards that were thrown over here. But this house is gone. The house next door is gone. That house is gone. It's just yeah. It's it's really here, guys. <laughs> this is. We were at this at like 10 o'clock in the morning. Or this 11. Yeah, 10 11. Voila. Voila.